Hello, and welcome to Ohio Hobbies. I went and did it again for dime hunt number two of 2021. We have four boxes of dimes. I have not opened them up yet to see if there's any enders or if they're new. But either way, we have four box to hunt. That's 10,000 dimes. Holy cow. I feel like my eyes are going to bleed. But we're going to go through them. Look for some errors, varieties. We are looking first and foremost for silver, obviously. And we'll go from there. I'm sure we'll find some 69 and 70 proof reverse varieties. Um, so anyway, or errors, whatever. I, I don't. I know there's a difference between the error and a variety. Blah blah blah. Uh, I do know it, but that's all right. We're gonna hunt all these dimes. I'm a bit overwhelmed. We're gonna go through it. See if we find anything good. Maybe even fill a few spots in the book. But if you hang out, I will show you each and every find along the way. Hopefully, we hit some silver. We are only five rolls in to box number one. And I do believe we found silver. nineteen sixty four absolutely we are on silver so definitely there is silver in this box five rolls in can we have another epic hunt let's do this roll 46 we will have our second silver of the box This time it is a 1963. Very nice. There we go. Four more left. Well, box number two had nothing in it. A few proof reverses and an 09 Denver. This is box number three. And we have two rolls that have a magnetic coin in them. I'm assuming they're probably Canadian, but we'll open them up, pull them out, and see what we got. All right, time to see what we got. So, what we have here, if I can get it to turn over here, Canadian 1997 and this one right there what do we got that one's a 2012 so we do we have two foreigns first two that are in box number three roll 24 of box number three we have a find 1983 San Francisco proof there it is you see the cameo we're on the board with another find box number three roll number one and we have Canadian 1984 that was the only roll that had something magnetic in it. And that was the only coin. We'll keep looking. Hopefully, we'll land on some more silver. We are on the very last roll of box number four. And I do believe we have some last roll luck. nineteen fifty seven it looks like yeah nineteen fifty seven fantastic we now have our third silver of the hunt first of box number four I'll see you in just a second once I hunt this roll for a wrap up 
All right, here is the wrap up. Four boxes of dimes, 10,000 dimes comes down to this. We have 30 of the 1969 and 1970 proof reverses. I probably won't hold on to all of them. I'm gonna cherry pick the nicest ones out and go ahead and send the rest back into the wild. We will be keeping the 97, the 84, and 2012 Canadian. Uh, we also have the 1983 S proof. We did get a pair of the 09s, a Philly and a Denver. That's it. Four boxes, 10,000 dimes, and we only found one of each. Then, of course, the finds of the box. The 1964, 1963, and 1957 Roosevelt Silver. And the best part about that is the 63 gets a spot and the 57 also gets a spot. So we just filled two holes in the album. How fantastic is that? All right, that is it. That wraps up this hunt. I want to thank each and every single one of you for watching this. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate everyone that pays attention to this, subscribes. If you would, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that bell notification. Down in the description of this video, you will find my P.O. box and my email address if you wish to send anything my way. That's it for this hunt. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, get your hobby on.